Greetings, everybody. Welcome to the dojo. Just sit down wherever you like. I'll be your master here, Beefcakes. And, uh, yeah, today we're gonna be talking about the ancient art. The ancient art of karate. In this wonderful class, you'll be expected to know some of the basic moves, such as the throat punch, okay? Uh, the dick punch, okay? And the, uh, face punch. All very effective. Uh, where am I going with this? No fucking idea. No, but today I'm gonna be telling a story back in middle school where uh, I encountered someone. I encountered a foe. I encountered a karate kid, okay? I'm not even joking. I have a legit question to everybody watching this video. Am I the only person that had a karate kid in middle school? Understand, I'm not fucking with you guys. Am I the only person that went to school with a fucking karate kid? Someone that would go to school in his fucking dojo outfit and sit there and brag about, uh, I don't know, karate and the fact that he's a soft gradient of blue belt. Like, again, I'm not joking. I had one of these kids. Anybody? 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 But today, I'm going to be telling the story of how I met the karate kid back in middle school, okay? So, let me bring you guys into the atmosphere, okay? Sunny, bright day. Sunny day. Blue sky, okay? Calvin wakes up, and he lets out a big, fat yawn, okay? Ah! Jesus Christ. I honestly need to stop fake yawning. You know what it sounds like? It doesn't sound like a fucking yawn. It sounds like death. It sounds like straight-up death, dude. Holy shit, just close your eyes and picture this. Ah, that sounds like a bird that just got shot in the wing and it's like crawling for air, dude. Oh my god. Graphic as hell, man. Holy shit. Okay, back to the story. Calvin wakes up and he doesn't yawn whatsoever. He immediately gets up, goes to the shower, and gets his ass to school, okay? He gets to his first period science class, one of his favorite classes because Michael's not there, and he sits down. No big deal, right? When all of a sudden, in a burst of action, the teacher stands up and says, Guys, we're gonna be having a new student today. Her name is Michelangelo the Ninja. FYI for Albert Einstein that's commenting, There's no way that there's someone named Michelangelo that's fucking bullshit. Yeah, that's not her name. Anyways, the teacher announces that there's gonna be a new student, and she walks into the room wearing the fucking Ryu and Ken outfit, dude. She looks like she just came out of Street Fighter 4. Like, what the fuck? She walks into the class and says, Hey, everybody. I don't mean to be rude, and I'm sorry about interrupting, but if you fuck with me, I will fucking end your life, okay? I will put you in a chokehold that will break every bone in your body while eating your dick at the same time, and not in a sexual way. I will literally eat your fucking dick like a steak. No, she didn't say that, but she did walk in wearing, like, the, the Street Fighter outfit. What are those? The Dojo outfit? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Um, no, it wasn't like the ninja clothing. It's like, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. But she literally walked into the room wearing that, that dojo outfit. And everybody just kind of looked at her like, uh, what the hell? And look, dude, I'm not trying to support bullying whatsoever. And I don't support bullying, okay? If you're a bully, fuck you. I don't like you. But you know what? After a week, people start uh, kind of being an asshole to her, okay? Now, the fact that she wore that dojo outfit every other day definitely did not help her chances. But people start going up to her and being like, you know, acting like they're going to fight her. And people start calling her karate kid and shit. And uh, she is starting to get really tired of it. You know what? I'll admit it, too. There were a few times where I was like, how do you get at her? And you know what? That was fucked up, okay? And I'm sorry. And I, you know what? There, that was uncalled for. I need to be punished. Who wants to punish me? To make this video not go into like the 50 minute range, I'm just gonna kind of sum it up, okay? People keep being a dick to her, okay? She starts getting a little bit angry, okay? A few weeks go by when one of my friends, Michael Jordan here, and no, it's not, you know what? I, it doesn't even matter. He doesn't even give a shit. Okay, Chris, my friend, decides to go up to her and uh, he starts bowing to her like every time he sees her, okay? This is when she's had enough. One time, Chris goes up to her and bows to her when she grabs a fucking yardstick. You know the yardstick's in your classroom? And fucking hits him in the head with it, dude! Now, all you Michael Jordan slash Chris fans, don't worry, Chris was not seriously harmed. But I'm not gonna lie, he was pretty fucking angry about this, okay? He got hit in the head with the yardstick, and he was like, what the fuck is this bullshit, okay? And, uh, yeah, he, he was a little bit angry. But, uh, to sum it up, um, 
she didn't get in trouble whatsoever, which is kind of like, what the hell. And Chris didn't even get in trouble either. The only thing that happened was uh, the principal made Chris switch out of every class he had with the girl, which was like two. But after that, that was pretty much it. No one really fucked with her after that. They were scared of her, dude. She was the karate warrior. She was the fucking chosen one, dude. You don't want to mess with her. And I definitely did not do any Hayukins at her, dude. I didn't want to get hit with a yardstick. What if the yardstick broke off, right? Like it ripped in half. And then she pulls off some walking dead move and fucking stabs me in the eye hole with a broken off piece of wood, dude. You never know. She's the fucking chosen one, man. Nah, but that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did and you feel like being an excellent guy, a like would be great. I'll be giving out a free taco to everyone that leaves a like. Not a scam, of course. But, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and peace, peace. Also, HELLO, KID!